Kia ora. Welcome to Thundercross. The Thundercross crew welcome you to our park. Now, this short video is to help and keep you and everyone else safe whilst visiting Thundercross. Please listen to our advice and please don't be a dick whilst you're here. Before we begin, all visitors to the park must sign in. That's everyone. Riders, non-riders, spectators, children, auntie, granny, or the next door neighbor. Now, if there's anyone left in your car whilst you're watching this video or signing in, please go get them so they can watch and sign in too. Thank you. Let's tell you about Thundercross. James and his family created the park in 1999 when he built the tracks so that his teenage children could have somewhere to ride. It opened to the public in 2001 and has been popular ever since with visitors from all over New Zealand and the world. With a variety of tracks from all levels, a fleet of hide bikes and tuition is available. Thundercross is an adventure unlike anything else and we hope you enjoy sharing the park with us. We have 750 acres here at Thundercross with a learner's track, an intermediate track, an advanced expert track and a basic motocross track. Our tracks are all clay based, created around our working farm. They are on natural terrain with natural hazards such as trees, logs, rocks, water, mud, corners and hills. There will be sudden changes of track conditions and visibility, from dry to wet areas or full sunshine to poor light when going from open tracks to dense bush, woodland and in the case of other riders, dust trail. Our farmland is leased out to a tenant farmer. You will come across his livestock and sometimes farm machinery. Please exercise caution. Now the cows were born here and they're used to dirt bikes and will not worry you. When you first arrive, please check out this morning's hazard board, outlining conditions. And no matter how often you ride here, please use your first lap of the day to familiarize yourself with everything and your surroundings. If you happen to be the first person around the tracks today, please open the gates and leave them open. Thank you. To ride at Thundercross, the minimum protective kit is a dirt bike chest protector, dirt bike helmet and dirt bike boots. Nothing else is acceptable. Gummies, work boots or road bike kit are not okay. If you don't have the correct kit, they are available to hire here. Just ask one of our team. Please note that to prevent litter and look after our cattle here, tear off goggle lenses are not allowed at our park. If you're riding your own bike here, it should be of the appropriate frame and engine capacity for your physical size and experience level. Your feet should be able to touch the ground squarely when sitting astride the bike. If you're on a bike with the engine running, please wear protective kit. Even unloading and loading trailers or going to the bathrooms. Accidents can happen at any time. Please don't let anyone have a go on your bike without having registered first. It's really important that all riders have registered first. Please do not overestimate your riding ability. Egos causes accidents. Please don't be that person. Guidance to rider ability and track levels can be found on our park maps around the farm or on our website. Please respect those guidelines. They are there for your safety. Please also respect the learner's track. It is not for racing, speed or hot laps. The learner's track is for beginners and small children only. If you are not a learner or supporting a learner, you should not be riding on the learner's track. Please respect the slow speed limit there at all times. Dirt bikes and recreational quads are designed for one rider. Under no circumstances ride two up on dirt bikes or quads. Please do not take your child for a spin on your handlebars or give someone a lift on your bike. Children under 16 are not permitted to ride adult quad bikes. The A track is absolutely for experts only. It is not something to give it a go and its difficulty increases with wet conditions. Once you're on it, there's no going back. If in doubt, ask first. Please do not go straight to the A track without warming up on the B track first. Get used to the day's conditions before you tackle the extreme track. If you get stuck on the A track due to overestimating your skill level, there will be a charge to assist in the recovery. Please note we will only attempt recovery if it is safe to do so. If you would like an accompanied loop of the next level track, for a small charge, one of our experienced coaches can take you around and show you how to best tackle its challenges. Beer and bikes do not mix. If you have had alcohol or drugs before you arrived at the park, 
you will not be able to ride here today. Please do not consume alcohol or drugs whilst riding here and do make sure you respect safe driving protocol when leaving the park. Please make sure you keep fed and hydrated whilst riding at the park with regular breaks. If you are hungry, thirsty or tired, it will affect how you handle the bike and increase your chances of an accident. If an accident occurs, please contact us immediately. Our details are on the Thunder Cross sticker given to you at registration. Please display the sticker on your bike at all times. If you come across an accident, please stay with them and send someone else to get the help from the Thunder Cross team. If you are the person coming for help, please do not ride the tracks in the opposite direction, even under those circumstances. Stay on the tracks or ride cross country or use the access roads. When reporting an accident or breakdown, please let us know the number on a nearest gateway so that we can easily locate it. And finally, please respect the park and each other. We want everyone to enjoy their day here. The park closes at 6pm, so please make your last lap around 5pm to give you a chance to get loaded up and relax after riding. We'd love for you to tag Thunder Cross on all your social media posts and give us a review on TripAdvisor. Thank you again for visiting Thunder Cross. Have fun. Come back soon. Matewa.